Good morning, my name is Engineer Piyush Pandey. Welcome to today's session of Motivational Skills. And the topic for today's discussion is Learning English is not about ignoring Hindi. Ladies and gentlemen, today we all realize the importance of English language in modern society. We cannot succeed in life if we do not have good command over English language. English is required everywhere to ensure your corporate success, to ensure your job success, and to ensure your consistent growth in any organization, good communication skills are highly required. It is always the priority. But ladies and gentlemen, in the path of learning English language, we are actually ignoring our own mother tongue, that is Hindi language. Most of the times we see in society that people love to talk in English language, that's fine. You must try to improve your communication skills and in order to improve your communication skills, speaking English consistently is very much required. But ladies and gentlemen, it is a criteria of enhancing your communication skills and that's all. It is not the criteria of having 100% focus on English language and simultaneously ignoring Hindi language altogether. Now people are having such kind of mentality even in this modern time that they don't want to learn Hindi language at all. Even they don't want to speak a single word in Hindi. People are so much attached to this English language. They are so much attached to this modern society that they are not even willing to speak Hindi. They hate speaking Hindi. They hate making use of Hindi in any way. They don't like Hindi. And if someone talks to them in Hindi, they think that the person is illiterate in every manner. They always communicate in English and they want people to communicate with them in English. And if someone is not able to communicate in English, they think that the other person is not having any knowledge. He is absolutely illiterate. Now, this is the sick mentality of most of the people in this country. Even today, even today, ladies and gentlemen, this is 21st century I'm talking about. This is 21st century I am talking about, where we say that we are highly technical, we are highly knowledgeable, we have good knowledge of science, mathematics and technology. We are highly practical, we are highly creative and innovative. And in this very creative, innovative and highly practical society, we are having many such people who hate their own language. Who hate their own language. Ladies and gentlemen, language is just a mode of communication and it is the effect of imperialism because of which English became the common language of everyone in the world. English became the common language of everyone in the world and it is because of imperialism that we were forced to accept this language as official language of entire world. And that is quite practical that we have to live with this. We have to accept that English is a global language and we must have good command over spoken English and written English also if we want to succeed in corporate world. If we want to succeed in our job lives, this is very much required. You cannot ignore English in any way. But learning English is a different thing and ignoring Hindi is a different thing. You learn English, nobody is stopping you to learn English, but at the same time, please don't disrespect Hindi language. What kind of society it is? We are Indians and most of we Indians, we don't even like to talk in Hindi. We don't like to talk in Hindi. If we talk in Hindi or, is, or if some other person is talking to us in Hindi language, we think that the person is illiterate. If the person is not making use of English, if the person is not responding to you in English, when you are asking some question in English, you feel that the other person is illiterate. How can you say the person is illiterate just because he is not able to talk in English? English is not the parameter of literacy and illiteracy, ladies and gentlemen. I must say this, English is not the parameter of judging someone as literate or illiterate in any way. People do graduations and post-graduations in Hindi and Sanskrit also. And if you talk about the knowledge that they have gained in Hindi and Sanskrit, it is much higher than what you know. It is much higher. Now, how can you put those people into the category of illiterate people just because they are not able to talk in English? 
Are you able to talk in pure Hindi? Are you able to talk in English? Yes. Sorry, Sanskrit. Ladies and gentlemen, even today, even today, we say that Sanskrit is the oldest language of Indian culture. But even today, you will find large number of people in many parts of the country who are 100% fluent in spoken Sanskrit. Spoken Sanskrit, ladies and gentlemen, a very rare case which is found right now here in India. It's a very rare case, but there are many villages in the country where you will find people, they are 100% fluent in spoken and written Sanskrit. Now, can you call these people uneducated? How dare you call these people uneducated? How dare you? Ladies and gentlemen, the parameter of knowledge, the parameter of intelligence is not language. Language can never be the parameter of knowledge. Language can never be the parameter of intelligence. Intelligence and knowledge is something else. It is subjective. It is not at all related to any kind of language. And being in India, you are ignoring Hindi language. What kind of person you are? What kind of person you are? You are disrespecting your own country. You are disrespecting your own religion. How is it possible that there are few people in this, in this country who don't even like to speak Hindi? Who don't even like to speak Hindi? You ask question to them in Hindi and they will reply in English. Doesn't matter whether you understand or not, but they will keep replying you in English language. Not because they want to tell you something really valuable, but because they want to prove in front of you that they are highly intelligent. Even if you are not understanding their words, even if you are not understanding even a single word what they are speaking, still they try to respond to you in English language just to prove their supremacy that they are far better than you because they know English and you don't know English. Now this is the sick mentality of the most of the people here in India ladies and gentlemen and it is a very shameful situation. It is a very shameful situation living in India and hating Hindi language. Living in India and hating Hindi language, how, that, how is that possible? Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't respect your own language, if you don't respect your mother tongue, if you don't respect your country and culture, there is no meaning in becoming highly intelligent in some foreign language. It is baseless. It is absolutely baseless. Your own country, your own religion, your own values, your own language should always be the priority, ladies and gentlemen. It should always be the priority. Learning foreign language is not bad in any way. Right now in this modern society, in modern corporate culture, people require employees having different skill sets, having knowledge of large number of variety of other languages. Like here in India, you will find people having good knowledge of Japanese and Chinese and Mongolian language. Australian language, French language, American language. And these people are required in many places. At airports, in embassies, where different people belonging to different country and different custom and culture, they meet together. They come together. They discuss things together. And that's why a specific language has got its own specific need at a particular professional place in the country. At a particular professional place in the country. You go to embassy, you will find people, you will find representatives of different countries in that embassy. In order to work appropriately in any kind of embassy, you must be aware of that particular language. That's why people try to be the part of French embassy. People try to be the part of Japanese embassy. And if they are trying to be the part of embassy, they must know French and Japanese. It is a requirement. And we are having coaching centers related to these particular languages in the country also. People go to those coaching centers, people learn new languages, and then people join relevant jobs. Now it is a requirement and you must learn it. You must know it. Enhancing your knowledge, uplifting your knowledge about different types of languages is not bad. But disrespecting your own language Hindi in comparison to English language or in comparison to any other language is absolutely bad. You are showing disrespect to the entire nation, ladies and gentlemen.
you are showing disrespect to the entire nation. How can you ever do it being an Indian? Doesn't matter how intelligent you are, doesn't matter how many languages you know, still the blood is Indian. We are Indian, how can we disrespect Hindi language? We are degrading ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We are uplifting in terms of bookish knowledge, but we are degrading in terms of moral values and ethics. Uplift yourself in terms of knowledge, but simultaneously do not degrade yourself in terms of ethics and morals. This is very bad. Janani Janmabhumishya Swargadapi Gariyasi Janani Janmabhumishya Swargadapi Gariyasi Mother and motherland is even bigger than the heaven. Mother and motherland is even bigger than the heaven, ladies and gentlemen. And if a person is not loving his motherland, a person is not loving his own language, he cannot respect any other person in this world. If you do not respect your own language, believe me, you will never respect your parents also. That is the fact of life. That's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you loved my today's video. Please subscribe my channel, ER Piyush Pandey Trainer VTech MBA, and please press the bell icon for constant updates. Thank you very much. Have a great day.